Eyewitness News begins with breaking news. On nearly 300 days since Hurricane Ida and justice may finally be coming for those involved and one of the most shocking stories to come from the aftermath as a nursing home owner is arrested. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Cherise Gibson. Uh, we broke the story days after Ida learning several of the nursing home residents died in poor conditions. Well, now the man in charge of those homes, Bob Dean, faces several felony charges. Erica Ferrando joins us live now from the Tantapahoe Parish Jail. This is where Dean bonded out about an hour ago, right, Erica? That's right, Sharice, and Bob Dean actually turned himself in earlier today after the attorney general's office issued a warrant for the for his arrest. And this, of course, comes after several nursing home residents died under his care during Hurricane Ida. In a white button down shirt, Bob Dean walked out of the Tangipahoa Parish Jail Wednesday just before 5 p.m. after bonding out on his $350,000 bond. He is required to wear an ankle monitor, give up his passport and guns, get a mental health evaluation, and he must stay in Georgia where he lives unless he has an out of state doctor's appointment or comes to Louisiana for court. The 68 year old wealthy nursing home owner was arrested hours earlier by Attorney General Jeff Landry's office, facing eight counts of cruelty to persons with infirmities, five felony counts of Medicaid fraud and two felony counts of obstruction of justice. Dean owned seven nursing home facilities across southeast Louisiana and during Hurricane Ida evacuated the 850 residents to a warehouse in Independence. We broke the story two days following Ida as those residents were being transported from the warehouse. The conditions inside were called deplorable with mattresses on top of each other, water flooding in at times and too few workers to treat the patients, some with many medical needs. More than a dozen residents died after the evacuation, although the coroner said only five of those deaths were storm related. Attorney General Jeff Landry said the arrest comes after an investigation revealed Dean refused to move residents out of the warehouse following Ida, that he builds Medicaid for dates the residents weren't receiving proper care, and he tried to intimidate and obstruct public health officials and law enforcement. Now, because Dean is required to stay in his home state, he will now be heading back to Georgia. He'll come back here to Louisiana for his next day in court. For now, live from Tangipahoa Parish, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.